All right, everybody. What's going on? This is Troy. I'm down here near Ashland, Kansas. If you can find it on a map, that's where I'm at. Actually, I'm, I'm out in the country on about uh, 20 miles of dirt roads from Ashland, Kansas, so I'm pretty far out here. I'm going to try to do a live video. I have no idea if it's going to stay connected or not, but anyway, I'm uh, working on the, the Certified Angus Beef logo right up here. Just started. I'm just waiting for the base layer of white to dry. So the white. So I'm just waiting for that to dry before I get started. So, you know, I'll kind of just show you around. So this is the Shaw feed yard. This is a working feed yard. I don't know how many cattle they run through here, but this is where their grain is. And obviously they, um, they've got trucks coming in and out of here all day. Actually this truck right here, he was just amazingly backed it up into here. I don't know how he does it. I backed my boat up into water and I have problems, but they put it in there obviously. And then they get all their feed and then they go out and then all the cattle are down there. There's some down here. Oh, and, uh, yes, Gary, guess I'm in power cat country. My goodness. So they had this painted on their, their barn. Um, I think I may help them out and do some touch ups for them because you know you know i just just can't can't deal um so yeah it's a working uh working feed yard there's another power cat my goodness oh, they're cleaning yeah cleaning off the stuff but there's cattle way back in there there's cattle over there cattle all down there so they have had uh, they had torrential rains here and hail um, uh, the day before I got here. Uh, so there's water everywhere. They've got it's just well, this is obviously gravel here, but they have a lot of like shale and red clay soil, so the the water just doesn't it just doesn't go anywhere. So they've had like flooding. But you can see their crops across the field look great. All that corn or maybe that sorghum. I don't know. But they look great, but some of the crops got ruined because the hail just demolished them. Here's my rental. <laughs> I'm going to return it. And they're going to be like, what the heck did you do? Because, yeah, that is just caked, cakey dirt everywhere. Poor car. But, I mean, look at their work trucks. Look at all the... The gunk under there, oh my gosh. I mean, it's just it, like the stuff gets wet and it just flies up and just sticks like glue to the underside of your car. So that's why they're over there, power power washing everything. Um, let's see if they got any cattle going through. So they were running cattle through yesterday. Uh, temps here are gonna get up to about 100 in the next couple days. So I am going to be working a lot of nights and stuff, I think. Yeah, I don't have any cattle coming through today. So they have the cattle that they were dropping off here and they run through the chutes. And then they go out to their feed yards. So I'm in the shade this morning, which is great. Oh, there they're moving some cattle. go those are actual cowboys look at that action so they're bringing them here separate out so there's some good looking little fatties there little bulls or steers maybe I don't know I don't know all my jargon those are some. No, those are definitely cows. Not steers. Anyway, that little group there separated for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if me being here is messing with them, so I'm gonna move around. But yeah, so there's lots of cattle over here. You see a lot of them in the feed yards over there. Woo! It's
it's getting warm. I'm gonna go back to the shade. Yeah, so that's kind of it. Um, yeah, I'm working in the shade right now. I got shade till about one o'clock, and then uh, I will call it quits because that wall is metal. Um, yesterday I clocked the temp out at about 135 degrees, so I'll be painting here. As you can see, I've got shade, and it's not bad in the shade. Uh, surprisingly. The paint isn't drying very fast. Um, it's really like no humidity right now. So I expect it to dry really fast, but it's not. Uh, not drying super fast, but I'll make do. So yeah, so I'm just here painting. Like I said, they have trucks that kind of come in and out and they go into here to get feed and stuff. And they're literally, I could reach out and touch the trucks as they drive by. That's how tight, tight my little space here is. But they're very good about uh, not hitting me. That's good. So, yeah. But it's uh, it's lovely. I'll get this one done. Then I've got um, a couple murals to do in Fowler. And I'll post some more stuff and updates on that. But I think this paint is dry enough now I can do a second coat. No paint. So, yeah, I'll second coat this and then start with the gradient. Same gradient. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I heard Illinois is getting lots of rain. Uh, I think you guys got what was here. <laughs> it was pretty bad. But I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.